Let's look at some of the common tax season issues for Canadian payroll. There usually are many costs regarding T4 boxes are incorrect, either due to missing pay or incorrect pay, or simply they just need to correct some uh, amounts on the T4. Usually this can be performed by going through transaction history or per, uh, by processing another pay run, but transaction history is much easier to do. Uh, there is a knowledge base article 18510 with a YouTube video on the fields to modify. So let's bring up that article and then we will go for an example of a change. These are the common boxes that can be adjusted uh, through transaction history on the T4. So let's uh, tr try adjusting the employment income, box 14. So in this particular case, you will select ink tax and then the earnings before deduction field to increase or decrease the employee's amount. So this will uh, add to the employee's existing pay total. Select the employee and the appropriate date. I already have an entry in here. So right now it's adding $5,000 to the employee's total earning. But there was no processing done for the year. So if I change this to 12,000, it will just print the 12,000. And box 14, 12,000. Next is the TD1 claim amount for each person's personal tax credit. So let's have a look at that. Let's check in assisting employees T, uh, TD1 amount to see what is that and then we'll make a change to it. So normally that amount is under the ink tax also. So we'll have an ink tax and we have a tax info. TD1 total tax credit $11,500 in here right now. So for example I want to change that to $11,900. Uh, I want to increase that by 400 and then I would go to, I can either manually change it there or go to the update TD1 claim account icon to do it for a range of employees or just the person. So normally you would update for the federal tax and the provincial taxes. So we will just update the federal tax in this case. Let's say increase or decrease. So if I want to increase that $400, I will just put 400 there. 
and it's just updating the one employee. So let's go confirm the amount. $11,900. Another common call is accrual balances being incorrect, such as sick pay or vacation pay, either due to missing pays or uh, they were incorrect uh, from the beginning of the year. So transaction history is another way to uh, correct the issue. So let's try one of those. So let's go check one of the employees total and then we'll make an adjustment to it. So this person doesn't have any vacation at all remaining. And then I want to accrue or give this employee twenty hours. Another common issue is the RPP plan number. Uh, check knowledge base article 18510 to see where you update this number or put this enter this number. Another report that people print at the end of the year is the T5 T5018, and if they are missing amounts um, or, the, or they were not processed, this can be corrected in the 1099 CPRS inquiry screen. So let's go try one of those. Right now, I already have an entry in here, but say th there was another payment that was missing. I just press insert. Select that same end there. And maybe in month number seven. There was a payment not done, not recorded, $3,000.
So we have 12,000 and 3,000 makes up to $15,000. Another common call is bonus pay. Sometimes bonus pay customers would like the regular rate to be calculated on the amount. So normally you can select the non-periodic payment option within the setup of the bonus pay and it should treat it like a, a with the regular rate calculation. So let's have a quick look at that. Set up earnings and deductions. Bonus, and then just check the box non periodic payment.